So here's my 99 LX 470. It, this is the Lexus and a brother to the Toyota Land Cruiser. And I'm putting a part-time four-wheel drive kit on this. Got it from uh, Loc Loca. And uh, so you can see I've already got the front manual hubs in place. The other part of this conversion is a spool in the transfer case. This is a little more compli complicated uh, than the hubs here. Uh, so I will get going on that. All right, we got the drive line out. I'm out draining the transfer case fluid. It looks it's not too bad. Um, anyway, draining that drive line is out. Not very easy to get out, but uh, easy enough. So I talked about cleaning this up, and I'll give you a view of what it looked like on the side. You can see how dirty that is versus the face of the transfer case that I cleaned up for my working surface. All right, here we go. Sorry about the wiggly camera. All right, got all the bolts out. It's kind of getting dark, but I uh, got all the bolts out and somewhere I read, hey, be careful. Bolts are different lengths. So they said, you know, stick them in some cardboard. So got a box here and I've identified, you can see where I've identified the bracket with a B and the D for the drain and then just kind of laid out all the bolts so anyway all right I'm gonna start tearing this thing down and we'll see what happens all right and we're back so ready to take out all these bolts around here to remove this uh, this last housing portion and uh, right up here you'll see there's a bearing and there's an outside clip that needs to be removed. It's a round uh, circlip, I think is what it's called. Anyway, gotta get that out and then we'll be back. All right, so I got the cover off. And um, uh, one thing to note is this little guy right here, it's just a dowel pin, just like this, but in reverse. That was kind of stuck, keeping it from coming off easily. Also, that retainer clip on this one once you get it off and you're trying to pry the cover off, you've got to make sure that you push this thing in. In fact, this one too. Push both of these gears in so that they don't come out. And then this will spin freely. The center diff will spin freely. What I ended up doing was hitting the, um, uh, the center diff lock button on the inside with the key on. And locking the hub so that it's connected to the drive line. You see it moving. That way I was able to uh, loosen all these bolts. Alright. Alright. The spool is on now. Um, just, had, just need to clean off the mating surface of the housing. Reattach it. There are going to be a couple of tricky spots. One is uh, when I put the housing on, making sure that I match up the, uh, the oil, oil pump with, uh, with that gear there. And uh, so, signing off. Okay, so we got the uh, we got this cover plate on and uh, this bearing cover plate here on as well with the snap ring in there. Now here's the tricky part. These bearing races want to slide out um, and there's a shim so you can't reach them while you're putting this thing together so that's, that one's going to be tricky. Uh, stay tuned. Alright so I've got the transfer case all the way back together now. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to mention is um, all the way at the very top is where the vent is for the transfer case and that complicates matters just a little bit as you're trying to pull it apart um, the other thing is uh, make sure that you get your brackets on I had I did have to even though I marked it on the box I did have to go ahead and um, put pull the bolt back out put the bracket on and then re uh, re-tighten that bolt 
So I guess uh, this is it for the transfer case. Um, one last thing that I'm going to do now, as a result of the uh, as a result of the part-time kit, is I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull off my rear drive line and uh, take it down and have it balanced. Um, as I was taking it apart to lube it as part of this process, uh, I actually took the uh, I actually slipped the whole yoke off the back and um, and I'm not entirely sure that I put it back in correctly so just as a precautionary measure I'm going to take it down and have it balanced it's pretty cheap 40 50 bucks so uh, that is it uh, I still have because I did not need to require it or I did not need to remove it I still have to remove the front drive line and um, re-lube and re-lube it. So I'm going to take care of that. Anyway, signing out. That is the conclusion of the part-time transfer case uh, um, uh, adapter or conversion. Uh, if you like this, please like it and uh, comment, subscribe, etc. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Appreciate the time. Thanks.